Hello and welcome to my Canva Bulk Create Shorts video where I'm going to show you how to leverage the power of ChatGPT in Canva to very quickly create a lot of YouTube shorts. If you'd like to follow along with me, I will leave my link down below where you can get either free access to Canva or simply use it for easier login access. Keep in mind that when we utilize this, we're going to be using Canva Pro. At least the good thing about them is that they do come with a free trial so you can still always follow along. Let's begin. So as you can see in ChatGPT, I use 4 because I think it's a little bit better. If you want to use 3.5, that's up to you but let's run with it i put give me x quick tips about why keep it less than 30 words okay so this can be anything it doesn't have to be tips it could be facts it could be things you didn't know it could be golden nuggets it could be motivation it could be a quote whatever it's going to be related to your niche and what you want to do this is very flexible just make sure that it's like not a hundred words because this has to fit into a YouTube short and if it's too long the font is going to be way too small and if it's just you know if you want big font then you have to use a lot less words so anything less than 30 is fine if you find a specific template that you want to use and it happens to be where the text is much bigger you'll probably want to use a fewer words but you can always mess around with that later so let's just do this say like we want to create 25 quick tips about let's just do affiliate marketing why not Okay, so let's hit enter, and when it's done, I will get back to you. All right, so there we are. We will come back to these, but for now, let's head on over to Canva. So what we want to do here is we can search for anything that's mobile-related. So let's do like mobile and then go from there. So I typed in mobile video, and you're going to see some of the things here that aren't that bad. But for the most part, we're looking for stuff that's kind of repetitive, straight to the point. So you could even do like either a fact from there, like something like this looks great. Obviously, you know, we don't care too much for that background. We can also do quotes because we're looking at quotes here too. And this looks so much better. Okay, obviously we can change around the backgrounds and so on and so forth, but let's just kind of go through. And once again, the reason why I said to have like fewer words is because if your text is this big, you're not gonna be able to have many words. You're gonna have to just make it a little bit smaller, right? So something that's going to stand out a little bit more or what we can also do is say like you know a facebook post if you've ever seen that before where there's a background and then in the middle it'll have someone's facebook post and then like posting it on youtube let's just try that let's see if we can search for something like facebook let's see mobile don't see anything at the time. I know Canva. Oh, there we go. There's one. This is the perfect example. The text is a little bit smaller, but that's fine. But I'm going to go with this one because I think this one is pretty good. Let's go with this. Let's customize this template. And of course, you can choose any one you want. All right. So first and foremost, you know, if you want to take care of the cosmetics of it, so to speak, like I think this is just a little too low. I think it could be up a little higher. Obviously, you know, change around your name. Let's just say like James Cans. I will change this to and I'm just gonna change my image very quickly. There I am, a little higher up, but that's fine. So, all right, perfect. And from here, what we wanna do is utilize the Bulk Ad app. If you haven't used it before, it's pretty simple. Go to apps right here and simply type in Bulk. I have used it before, so uh, if in case you haven't, it's gonna ask like, would you like to use this or something like that? But let's go with this right here. Okay, so what we can do is enter data manually. And the fact that we created it in ChatGPT allows us to enter it manually, which is always good. So let's do that. And of course, we're gonna have two sections here. Now we're not gonna need this row or this column, so we can delete this. This is gonna be simply like our, like, what was it, a tip or something, right? This doesn't really matter. You know, we can keep that there. Let's go back over here. So what we're gonna do here is copy all of this. Let's copy it in. Let's go back over here. I'm just gonna do Control V for paste. If you notice, we're gonna have all of our simple tips or quotes or pro tips, whatever you wanna call it in there. Let's do done. Okay, so it says, uh, right click an element in your page to connect it into your data below. So we want it right here. So I'm gonna right click and what we wanna do is connect data. Okay, and we're gonna click on tip. That's what we utilize right there. Okay, so now if you'll notice, this is gonna be where all of our quotes go. We can also delete this too because we're not sure like how big that's going to be, you know, in terms of the quote. So for this one, you could probably do like, you know, 30 to 40 words maybe max because it is a little bit smaller in terms of the text. But aside from that, let's click on continue. And it says apply data, uh, create pages based on the data you entered. So yes, we want one for each of these because those are gonna be the different YouTube shorts. So we have 25, let's do generate 25 designs. 
All right, and if you'll notice, we now have a ton of different videos where I can just kind of go like this to show you what it looks like. Next is prioritize quality over quantity and products. Use SEO to drive um, whatever it was. You utilize email marketing to nurture leads, analyze and adapt based on performance metrics, and so on and so forth. So just like that, we have what was it, 25 of them that we have created very quickly. Keep in mind, I didn't go through a lot of like the cosmetics of the video in the background. That's usually the stuff you want to do beforehand, but given the fact that Canva is pretty easy to use, this is more of the more quote unquote challenging thing to do, right? So assuming everything is good with that, all we need to do is go to share right here. And what we can do is go to download. From here, we have MP4 video, that's great. We wanna do download pages as separate files, okay? So that means you're gonna be getting 25 separate videos as opposed to getting it, all of it in one, which is gonna be annoying, because if you did that, you just have to recut it over and over. And keep in mind, this is going to be a uh, Canva Pro uh, feature here, which is another reason why you might want to use that obviously for this. So when you're done, you're just going to simply click on download and you're going to be able to get all those shorts for you in terms of using, changing around, editing, putting on multiple platforms. It doesn't even have to be YouTube shorts, right? Given the fact that it's a vertical video, we can use this on Instagram. You can use it on TikTok, a YouTube short, whatever it's going to be. And I like these. These happen to be more popular overall where it's just kind of like your name, your username, and you can just post these everywhere. So you're getting a lot of eyeballs, I guess you could say, but that's going to be the final steps when it comes to Canva bulk creating the YouTube shorts, utilizing chat GPT and Canva. Pretty easy to do. And like, this is just the main overview of it. Like I said, if you wanted to change anything around back when I added my photo in back when I added my name and so on and so forth. That's where you can change around some of the background things, some of the videos. Maybe you want to just make it a little bit easier to see. Maybe you want to put more of your branding on it, whatever it's going to be, but that should do it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you got some value out of this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.